beautiful evening here in Birkenhead. New circuit for the riders, round five. Tony, it's going to be a fast one, this one. Yeah, pan flat circuit and uh, only eight corners and they're all 90 degrees. So uh, as we roll out through the square, you'll see this course on this neutralized lap. Riders fighting for the bike as ever. Now we're launching up for the sprint. Tindley looking to try and make this competition her own. You can see 100 meters to go. Roberts is trying to challenge. Tindley looks like she's got that one in the bag. And yes, she has maximum points for the Campanati rider. Fantastic sprint there from Tindley holding off the younger riders. There's confirmation of your results. So Tindley takes five. Roberts one point behind her in fourth place. Into the sprint, Bex Durrell on the front. Simpson just moves out of the back, has a little look. Roberts now starts to make a move. Tindley, though, you can see in that light blue jersey, reacts instinctively to Roberts' move. Tindley, remember, got the first sprint. Can she take the next one? But she does. But again, each time here, Tony, she's just picking up one slender point over Jess Roberts. Yeah, interesting to see, as you can uh, see there, Joe Tindley takes five points, Roberts in second, Henderson in third. Interesting that Joe Tindy there is being so dominant in these sprints, especially up against the likes of Jess Roberts. So Bex Durrell right on the front here. Tindley on the wheel trying to challenge. Durrell has led it out. Henderson trying to move up. Durrell looks like she's got the gap. Here comes Tindley. Durrell and Tindley right on the line. Durrell looks like she's tying up a throw to the line by the two riders. A great lead out. Bex Durrell for almost the whole last lap there. Tindley again comes through right on the line. And I think we'll leave that one to the photo finish judges. We certainly will look for those green jerseys. Remember, three riders to count and a great return to form for Annie Simpson. So Rebecca Durrell just takes the win from Joe Tindley by two hundredths of a second with Anna Henderson in third. It was the second Ovo Energy Tour Series win for Rebecca Durrell, who won the overall title in 2017. And she was back on the podium picking up the Brother Fastest Lap Award while Jess Roberts of Team Breeze still has a commanding lead in the Iceberg Sprint competition. And Brother UK Tafosi presented by Onform are still in the Ovo Energy Green Leaders jersey by the narrowest of margins. They now have a two-point lead over Team Breeze, but much could still happen over the last two rounds. On the start line, on the left, you can see now in those green over energy leaders jerseys, Madison Genesis. What a round they had in Durham. That individual win for Joey Walker. Disastrous night for Canyon DHB in the blue. Then we're looking to try and pull it back tonight. So Lampier, you can see there just in that red iceberg sprints jersey, just moving up. So these, this team sporting the orange for this one out of that corner. Lampier looking to try and make this iceberg sprints jersey his own going into tonight. Four point advantage in that competition over Joey Walker. He's not far away from the front as far as we can see. Tom Moses, he's third with 26, but Lampier rolls through here and takes maximum points uncontested. Whole race still together in pretty much one long line. So very fast racing around this Birkenhead circuit. There's confirmation of your sprint results. So Lampier takes it from his teammate, Matt Knoll. Clancy gets himself up there. No points scored for Joey Walker on this occasion. Look at the pace, though, on the front of the peloton. Out of that corner, Lampierre's hunting for some more points here for St. Piran, and that could help drag this one back up to Tanfield. Yeah, just the fact that there's a sprint going on and Steve Lampier there putting the pace down, that's going to half the gap up to Charlie Tanfield in the lead as Lampier again comes over the line, pretty uncontested for those sprint points. Got to say... For St. Piran, this is the dream scenario. Tanfield takes five points. Lampier takes four. So this team from Cornwall, their first appearance in the Tour Series. 100 metres to go up towards the line. No one challenging the sprint leader again. 
Great night. The maximum points in the bag. Yeah, and that was a great picture there, just to show you that we've got 25 odd riders in this front group, and they were stretched over almost 100 meters. Here we go, the sprint being opened up now by Tanfield. Look at his teammates just behind him, but it's the young rider Sam Watson from Fensham House at the moment. Watson sits down, here come the teammates of him coming past. Matt Bostock, Ollie Wood are all up there trying to find their way through, and it's Matt Bostock that comes through. Watson came off the wheel of Tanfield, couldn't quite hold it to the line. High fives all round for Canyon DHB. Great lead out by Charlie Tanfield. Confirmation of the one, two, three, four defending champions. Canyon DHB presented by Bloor Homes with a great result for Sam Watson of Fensham House Mass Design in fourth. It was the first ever Over Energy Tour Series win for Matt Bostock from the Isle of Man. with Canyon DHB teammate Robert McCarthy claiming the Brother Fastest Lap Award. While Steve Lampierre of St. Piran won the Sprints on the Night Award and consolidated his lead in the Red Iceberg Sprints jersey. And with all four scoring riders in the top five, the defending champions Canyon DHB retake the green overall leaders jerseys. They're now level with Madison Genesis on 48 points with the Cornish outfit of St. Piran having a great series in fifth.